All right, we're uh, right off the plane here and uh, excited to be here. Uh, it really is uh, fun to be back in Arizona and fun to be able to be here for longer than 48 hours. Uh, seems like uh, when we came in for the, the national championship last year, uh, I really don't remember much about it. It was such a such a blur. Uh, I'm excited to, for, for not only myself, but for these players to have a, a great opportunity to uh, uh, you know, have great preparation here, uh, but also experience uh, a new part of the country. And uh, like I said, we didn't get to do a whole lot when we were out here, but, but get ready to play the game. So, so uh, we're really uh, uh, you know, ready to go. We had a, a good practice this morning in Clemson. Uh, believe it or not, it was hot uh, back in Clemson. And uh, so, you know, it's good to get back out here and, and uh, enjoy some good weather. But uh, we've had great preparation. Uh, this is game week, obviously, and, and uh, one day under our belt. So uh, we're very appreciative of the uh, PlayStation Fiesta Bowl folks, and everyone, all the committee and the volunteers and everybody who does so much to, to make this a great event, a great experience for, for everyone involved, uh, especially, you know, the, the opportunity to practice where we're practicing. It was a great, it's a great uh, venue for us, uh, incredible stadium that we get to play in, and uh, we're just looking forward to it. So. Look forward to spending the week with all of you. Any questions, please raise your hand so we can get a microphone to you. We're going to go to the third row on the right. Coach Winnie, uh, Brandon Dunn, Myrtle Beach. Hey, can you talk a little bit about unfinished business, so to speak, uh, here in the, in the desert, considering what happened last year when you were here? Does it, does it feel like unfinished business, or does it feel like this is just another opportunity? Well, yeah, that was last year, you know, different team. Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of those guys aren't with us anymore. You know, we missed an opportunity last year. We certainly uh, had a chance to, to win it all. And, uh, you know, we didn't quite finish like we needed to. And, and I give Alabama the credit for that. They earned it. Uh, but this is a new team, new season, and it's, it's a new opportunity. So, you know, as I always say, last year's success doesn't, doesn't get it done this year. Uh, you, you've got to earn it all over again. And, and uh, you know, this is the playoff. Uh, this is the bowl experience and the playoff and the opportunity to uh, earn another game. Uh, you got to win this one to get to another one. So uh, for us, it's just uh, a great opportunity and a huge challenge uh, with Ohio State. We all know what type of program they are and the coaches and so forth. So but we're just uh, we're looking forward to it. That's what it's all about. Next question, please. Way in the back here on the right. Hey, this is David Hood with Tiger Net. Coach, it's that time of year. Did everybody make the trip, and is everybody healthy? Everybody made the trip uh, that I know of. I don't think we left anybody back there. We had two planes, so I was on one of them. Uh, so unless somebody missed the flight on the, on the other one, uh, everybody was there. And that's one thing I was – and we, we had a couple days off uh, for the Christmas break, and uh, a lot of guys traveling and so forth. But uh, we actually had a team meeting this morning at 9 a.m., uh, everybody was there early and ready to go, and, and again uh, had a had a good meetings and an excellent Monday type practice for us. So uh, off to a good start. Second row center, Coach Craig Fui, ABC here in Phoenix. Can you talk about taking on Ohio State in this semifinal matchup? <laughs> well, great program. Uh, you know, this is Ohio State. Uh, I think that. Uh, you know, their brand speaks for themselves. I mean, they've earned that. Uh, I think uh, percentage-wise, they're the winningest team in the country since like 1950. Uh, you know, uh, so program-wise, they're, they're right there at the top. And then uh, their coach and staff is, is tremendous. I, I know several of those guys and uh, got a lot of respect for Coach Meyer. I mean, he, he, he rarely ever loses. Uh, we, we were joking back in Clemson, it's like Newt Rockney and Urban. Meyer are the two winningest coaches ever. So it, it, this is this is they're where everybody wants to be, you know, from a brand standpoint, and uh, you know some of the achievements that they've had. You know, we're a program that uh, is very proud of what we've been able to do and the consistency, especially the last you know six plus years. Um, but uh, you know, we want to we want to get to the top of the mountain, and uh, you, you don't nobody gives you that. You got to go and, and earn it, and uh, you got to beat the best and uh, they certainly represent that. Third row back on the right. This is for both the players. How's it feel to be back here in Arizona? Uh, it feels really good, man. Uh, you know, this is 
this is just an opportunity that we gotta take uh, like care of. You know, last year, you know what happened, and you know we're just really blessed to have the opportunity to be back here. So it's just a blessing. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to being back here. You know, it's nice to come back, a long trip and everything. Just happy to, you know, play another game, just have this other opportunity here in the Final Four. Just, I'm just really blessed and fortunate to be back. Any other questions? Front row center. Eric Brenner from the Post and Courier. For Wayne or Christian, does this feel more like a, a business trip than last year's playoff run, or is it about the same? That's about the same. I mean, we got a job to do, so we're going to take care of business. We're going to prep hard, you know, just treat it like any other game. You know, you know, we know it's a big game. Well, in the eyes of, you know, of everyone, but we're going to treat it like any other game and, and try and take care of business. Um, same thing what Christian said. Um, there's really no change in any game that we play in. You know, next game is the next championship, so you know, we got to play our best. Front row center again. Urban Columbus Dispatch. Urban Meyer has talked very highly of you, uh, complimentary of you. What is your relationship? How well do you know him? Uh, well, I know him pretty well now. Uh, I actually, when I was an assistant in um, 2004, I believe, uh, flew out to Utah for three days and uh, stayed in that hotel that uh, the basketball coach lived in. Uh, and, uh, Majerus, uh, Coach Majerus, that was that was a pretty cool trip. I'd never been out to Utah, so that was a new experience. But I I, uh, I, I learned a lot in those few days. Uh, but uh, then he went to Florida and didn't was never really around him a whole lot other than in recruiting. Um, but when I got the job as a head coach and then he got out, he uh, got into the TV and stuff and uh, came. To a couple came to Clemson. He'd never been to Clemson, so I had an opportunity to visit with him on a couple different occasions, get to know him differently. He was kind of on a two-year studying tour, if you will, uh, and I think Clemson was a place that, that uh, opened his eyes a little bit. Uh, but but mostly, you know, uh, as a as a Nike school, uh, Nike takes us on a trip every February, and uh, so really have got to know uh, he and Shelley very well on, on the Nike trips. I mean, we kind of gravitated to each other. He, you know, I pick his brain, he picks mine. We've had some great conversations. We've had, uh, we, we do a couple of golfing events together. So uh, I've gotten to know him pretty well over the last uh, four or five years. And then we're always recruiting against each other. So, uh, you know, he's he's done a phenomenal job and, and uh, just got his book. Uh, so try to get that thing read by the end of the week. Uh, see if I can. <laughs> Above the line, uh, thanks for us. I got to figure out how to look, look at any, any little edge I can get. Uh, Y'all got the cliff notes shooting my way. Any other questions? All right. Well